Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday on the Day by Day Farm. Today, I made a little treat for our, our chickens. I don't like Sunday. Nobody likes Sunday. Only people who like Sunday are people who work Monday to Friday and then Sunday is a holiday. For us, it's a boring day. But anyways, I made this treat. I'm going to tie it up in the chicken coop and we're going to go out there and see what eggs we got today. I'm trying to decide if I want to make this area over here by the chicken coop, if I want to make it like a garden or a sitting area. All right, so there we go. That's what I did. I just hung it up and they're going to eat the apples. It's already eating it. chicken people out there I just wanted to show you the eggs that we've gotten from our new chickens but I wanted to point out something this is the first egg we got from the black copper Moran and then today this is the egg that she laid so much healthier so much better quality these little speckled spots don't mean anything bad but they can mean stress or issues in the chicken and we've treated them for some for some diseases just to make sure that they're okay and we're starting to get consistently better eggs Sophie thinks this one's a double. So we are getting black copper Moran eggs. We're getting dark brown. We're getting like a beige color. We're getting a lighter beige color. Um, Sophie thinks these two are white from our leghorn chicken. I'm not sure, it's hard to tell. Definitely lighter than the beige, but we also are getting blue. So I've eaten a couple of these eggs. Um, we also had, uh, so this is our second blue one actually. But these are the colors of the chickens that we have so far. I'll update you guys if we get any other colors. Chicken egg color variation is such a big thing. Like I love looking at the pictures of different colored eggs. But I wanted you guys to know that the eggs that we're getting now are so much better than the eggs we started with. I suspect it's because we changed their diet and added a bunch of stuff for nutrition and um, they were breaking eggs when we first got them eating the eggs so i thought that their calcium and their protein levels needed adjusting and we did that and we treated them for parasites too and i think that made such a huge difference for them so i don't know if you guys can see chino and penny out there <laughs> they're like we don't really care for we'll, hay we'll we're only grass people <laughs> catcher oh wait good girl pee in my garden <laughs> Get your dog. No, not the burrs. Oh, no, not the burrs. Oh my God. Ellie, not mud. Oh my gosh, grab her. <laughs> oh no, not again. You can't take your dog anywhere. No, so we can't bring the dogs outside because there's mud all where the car goes. Yeah, pull those off if you can. Look at all over her belly. Well. Oh God. This is not well, good. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. This is our fourth year living at this farm. She's and covered in birds. We have I never had it. mud like this before. Not once. But so it's not my fault. It's your fault. Oh my gosh. My dog is covered in burrs and I have to get them off right now. All right, I got most of them off of her. Most of them. Oh, where am I gonna put them so that she can't get them again? So the thing you guys don't know about Yorkies is that they're so much, they're so hard, holy moly. Last night I gave her a bath, her weekly bath. Ah, get out of the poo, get out of the poo. So if I don't give her a bath every week, her hair starts to smell like sweaty people smell, like dirty, hor dirty, they start to smell like dirty human hair. <laughs> She's like, there's another one, get it off of me. Let me see, where is it? Let me see where it is. Oh my gosh, they're under her chin. Oh! Alright, I got it off the best I could, but she still has some on her on the side of her face. Get away from that. So, anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! She's got I'm just a mess! So, anyways, we were gone most of the day yesterday. Oh! So we were gone most of the day yesterday. Everything was fine. I came home and it took all the time that I could have been relaxing and resting to bath Ellie because that's what she needs. 
I don't like her to get all greasy and be stinky. So I bathed her. Then this morning she wakes up, Sam comes home with coffee and he always buys her a little tiny donut hole thing and she's obsessed with it. He brings them to her like every once in a while and she gets excited every time he comes in the house. He went to put his cop coffee cup down and she jumped thinking that he was giving her a treat and she spilled his coffee all over her face. So then another bath for Ellie. <laughs> and then I bring her outside because she gets so excited. She has a little area that's fenced in that she can go to the bathroom in. But when we get ready to go outside and come down to the barn, she gets so excited. Like. She only gets to go out. The big dogs go out and run the farm every time we let them out. She only gets to run the farm and do stuff when I go with her. I swear to God, she watches me all day long. And as soon as I even act like I'm leaving the house, she's at the door waiting. And then <laughs> I bring her out. Poof, she's covered in burrs. Wait. All right, well, I'm gonna have to finish taking all the burrs off. She got most of them off. She has a couple underneath her chin that I can't get. Come here, let me feel your whole body. I'll have to brush them out when we get back at the house, back to the house. It is gorgeous out. I feel like, I literally feel like just sitting outside the front of the barn and sitting in the sun and soaking up rays. Sam said it was freezing out, but it is gorgeous out. Ellie. Wait, I was like, why is it so small? Really She's so good when I call her name. Watch, Ellie. Ellie. No, I'm she doesn't do it. In there, Ellie. Did you throw the birds in there? No, Ellie, Ellie, Can you hey. hold her for a minute? Ellie, come away. Usually, when I call Ellie's name. She's just so excited. She's yeah, like, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Please don't let me do a mistake. She's really good. Oh. But when we're down at the barn, she's a little less good. Call her. Come on, Ellie, I'm come on. Close this door. Good girl, stay out here. I'm good. Ellie, Ellie. come on, Ellie, Ellie. Good girl. I'm doing some training in the grass with Willow. Yeah, that's awesome. Literally the whole farm is underwater. Oh, Leaving her halter on because All I right. don't have that much trust in her. All right, I'm gonna go in and do a couple of things. I'll be right back. Another really good thing about Ellie is that she always is, is mindful of where I am. So usually I don't even have to pay attention to her. I just have to look down. I'll show you. Ellie, and there she is. <laughs> No matter where I am, she always is watching to make sure that I'm there. These are the other treats that we buy. We buy them locally. It's this big, huge treat, and we like them. The only problem is, is that we get all this powdery stuff, which is just annoying. But I wanted to bring down the other treats that I got and dump them. When it's snowy, we can go anywhere we want on our property. Although it's hard because when the snow gets thick, it's hard to walk through it. And when it's spring, the whole ground is soft and squishy. So we can't really walk our horses anywhere if we want to preserve the the hay. Hey, there she is. Wait a minute, whose whip do you have? Mine. Let me see it. Oh. Ellie, Ellie, hey. Ellie, come on, get over here, come. Hey, Ellie. She really wants to be friends with the horses more than she wants to be friends with the people. It literally feels like we're stranded. Why? Two babies. What do you think? How come you're all dirty? Oh my gosh. Sophie, you have your job cut out for you. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> Get in here. Oddly, Gracie is not as good with Ellie as the other horses are. She's more like, I will destroy that beast. Everybody is dirty. I've never ever seen so much mud and so much mess before. Oh, it looks like Gabby cleaned the arena last night. Do you guys remember yesterday I said like Gabby's in charge of cleaning the arena now? It looks like she did it. So, I am going to try and clean the arena. I'm going to try and clean the arena holding a puppy. <laughs> I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. Wheels in motion
is more muddy, more wet, more icy than it's been. Actually, it's not that icy. We try and fix things on the outside of the barn every summer to make it less wet and it's working. Less ice came in here. I am determined to make Ellie a barn dog. I'm determined, Ellie. Yeah, all the horses are happy to get out. I am loving just sitting in the sun. When we go up, I'm gonna take Ellie back to the chicken coop and sit in the chairs there. This is so good, I'm, I'm so obsessed with this. Ellie's doing so good, you guys, other than the burrs and the coffee. <laughs> the burrs and the coffee and the constant baths. She's listening so good. You are such a good girl. Like she's really getting it. She's actually really getting it. Like today was the first day that she was running around free in the arena with the other horses. I was really careful when the other horses were like near her and making her come back to me. So my goal is to teach her to come back to me and sit beside me when the other horses are like coming toward her and stuff or when they're on the move. And she's doing amazing. You're doing amazing, Alice. You're doing amazing. Before anybody becomes a farmer, a farmer of any type, they should make you go to a farm in spring and see like the mud and the water and the wet, soggy ground and see what it's like because this honestly is the biggest deterrent of life. But Sophie and I are still down here because it's important to us. Sophie and I are totally the kind of people that have to be busy. We can't just be sitting in the house all the time. We have to be doing stuff all the time and being outside is so important. If it's a warm day. If it's a warm day. If it's cold out, then forget it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?